Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're going to go over pretty printing JSON on the command line. We're going to use both Python as well as JQ. You can use either or. Personally, I suggest using JQ because it does offer syntax highlighting out of the box. It's also quite nice for just parsing out some JSON objects that you may want. The Python solution could be interesting if you can't install any third-party dependencies, but you do have Python installed. You know, we'll be able to do a one-liner with a standard library. I've also created a little script here called ppjson that helps us very quickly work on a file like this, for example. We're pretty printing that JSON file. And, you know, just to give you an idea of what that file looked like before being pretty printed, it looks like this, which is a little bit hard to read, right? Let's say that you wanted to, I don't know, get this property here, maybe this object in there. Well, do anything one 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 liner like this you'd have to you know kind of just mentally parse like you know what depth is this thing in the object like you know it would be a little bit hard to find that path or maybe you might reach towards going to some online site where you can just you know paste in this and it will do it for you but maybe you have something that you don't want to paste online or have to look at dev tools to even see that it sends it etc so i did create that little script here that now lets us operate on either the clipboard or passing in a file here so i copied that one liner to my clipboard now i can just run ppjson like this and it is going to use jq behind the scenes uh, we can also pass in whatever arguments that we want here that JQ supports. So we can do indentation four here because JQ will do indentation two by default here, which we see over here. So yeah, that's that. But uh, before we get into working with that script here, and by the way, that script is available on my dot files here. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. It's in the local bin directory here over ppjson. But uh, yeah, let's go over some of the raw commands here before we look at that script here. And let's start with using the Python solution here. So we can do Python. It has a built-in module called json.tool and it will take a file name here that we can pass in. So we can just have Python do this parsing for us like this. Although you'll see here that it is not syntax highlighted. If you did want to do syntax highlighting, then you would need to install a third party Python package, maybe Pigment or something like that, and then you can use that. But I think if you're gonna go down the path of installing third party packages, then you might as well just apt install JQ or brew install it, et cetera. So that's uh, the Python solution here. And you know, as you can see, Python will do indentation of four by default, but it does allow you to do something like, I don't know, indent two if you wanna have two instead of four. So there we go, so not too bad. Now. If you wanted to just operate with your clipboard, that's going to depend on what operating system you have. If you're running Mac OS, you can use PB Paste. You may need to brew install that. I'm actually not sure. I don't really use Mac OS a lot here, but I'm going to work with using Xclip here, uh, which is available to apt install. Right now, I'm running Ubuntu inside of WSL2. You know, Excel is another uh, tool spelled like this, by the way. Uh, you know, it really depends on what clipboard manager you use. But in this case, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm just picking the one that I have here. So output selection. Uh, clipboard here and we're going to go with python3 json.tool just like we did before you know this time we're not putting in a file name i'm basically pasting this and then piping it into json here so i'm going to copy a one-liner here of that json file that we were operating with before it's in my clipboard and there we go and if we want to just mess around with that indentation here we can do indent2 here and we get the same result Cool, so that's basically the Python solution here. Now let's go and play a little bit with JQ. So with JQ, you can just put in the file name like this here, and uh, there we go. It's going to parse it nicely. You can see we get some pretty nice syntax highlighting. And if you wanna have just a different indentation level, let's say, you know, indentation four, uh, we could do that. I think uh, we can even do up to seven based on the help menu that I read for JQ right before watching this video because uh, initially I did try to do indent eight, but nope, not allowed to do that. It can only be through one through seven. I guess if you had some wild use case where you had to use eight or something like that, then maybe using the Python solution could be a reasonable thing. Uh, but then also, you know, operating with the clipboard as well, we can do a very similar uh, thing as we did before here with the PP paste. Just uh, well, let me get rid of the indent here and we can do uh, X clip here. And then we'll do out selection clipboard and we'll just pipe that into JQ like that. And that should work. Uh, that will not work because I lost what was in my clipboard, which was the one liner for that one little JSON that we we're looking at before. But now I copied it to, to my clipboard off screen here and we are good to go. But yeah, trying to type out all these long commands here, depending on if you want to work with the clipboard or maybe with a file, a little bit annoying. So that's why I made that PP script here. So let's take a look here at that script really fast here. If I go to my dot files over here, it is in PP JSON over here. It's a little tiny little wrapper script here. Let's go over some of the usage, right? You can maybe pass in a file name and then maybe pass in all the different JQ args. So if you put in the file name here, yep, it's going to pretty print the contents of the file. No file name, then it's going to use your clipboard. And then you can also put in different uh, JQ arguments. So you can just run JQ's help menu like this, or you know, you can run JQ help and then see all sorts of different things that you can do here because you know we're not limited to just doing indents, right? So if I just run uh, pretty print JSON here on this data file here, we can do that, but we can also put in something like uh, 
I don't know, what do we want to do? Uh, let's say we want to take out this title here, right? Or you just want to maybe parse it out. So you can do glossary.title here, nice. And then if you want to get the string variant of that, like the raw version of that, you can just use dash r. You know, this is all JQ stuff. It's nothing to do with my script here. Uh, but yeah, this script basically just reads the file here. Uh, if that file does exist, then we shift out the file name from the arguments here, pass them all into JQ here, and we're good to go. You know, if we're not dealing with a file here, basically the first argument uh, didn't translate to being a valid file here, like if we just put in a flag here, then we just choose like, hey, do we want to use pp paste? If it's available, then use it. Else, nope, let's use xclip instead here. And then do basically what we do over here is just passing all the arguments to JQ, and then JQ will happily call them. So that's really it for this video. Uh, not a lot going on here, but little handy thing. Yeah, I was just working with a ton of JSON, just trying to parse out some stuff. And, you know, I kind of created this little script to make it a little bit easier for myself. So with that said, let me know in the comments below, you know, what was the last JSON object that you wanted to pretty print? that you're allowed to share or you know will you be using this type of script here yeah let us know in the comments below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, it really does help a lot i'll try to answer any questions i can so feel free to drop any comments and i will see you in the next video